Well, as the camera sets low, I'll get my hand over it. Uh, okay, so here's what's going on. Uh, we're discovering every day, whoa, and all the time that uh, we can't get spark a lot of times. I got this powder horn from a novelty shop, and that's basically, I guess if you lose a real fine powder in it, it might work, but this is all sealed. You can't do nothing with the back. You got to unscrew this to put powder in it. Um, it's a nice deal, safety deal, but you can't hardly get powder out of it. Um, I expect if it was 4F, maybe, you might be able to get in and out. This is the light dragoon pistol. Um, I got it cracking off every time. Each time you shoot it, the frizzing doesn't always, well, it doesn't pop open all the way. I put a smaller flint in it. We had a bigger flint in there. And with the bigger flint, you can't hardly get it to go off half the time. But with that uh, smaller flint, it pretty much goes every time. So what happens is <clears throat> basically your flint, if you're not getting a lot of spark and stuff on there and it's not setting it off, your flint comes up and it hits the top of the frizzin and pops it open. Um, and all that does is open it up. You might get one little spark or something that'll generally fly off to the side or something. But the idea for these flint locks is that it hits the frizzin and as it opens it, it scrapes down the steel frizzin, creating sparks, putting them into the pan. So um, yeah, it's a big flint adjustment. So if you got these flint locks and you're having a lot of trouble with them going off, try to adjust and set your flint. Um, to a, a smaller size and, and set it to where it's hitting it and scraping down it and not just hitting it and popping it open. Uh, and you'll find that you'll be able to enjoy these a whole lot more. I saw I'd do this video real quick, go down here and shoot a few rounds and uh, goof off. And I didn't set the camera up too good, but that's how it is. Sometimes you do it good, sometimes you don't. Most time I don't. So, but anyhow, I'm going to go down here and... Uh, now, also, I'm shooting these clay balls. I made them with the Lee ball maker, and they're made out of uh, play, kids play air drying clay, and I shoot those. Uh, five bucks gives me a whole lot of them. <laughs> That's just a fraction of what I got. But this is the flint size I was using, and then that's the flint size that's in it now. I, I don't know if you can see the difference between them, but there is a bit of a difference between the flint so anyhow started going off every time so i was happy a little cheapy ramrods and them things but it's cool back down to take a couple shots fired up with i don't know it's an 80 grain powder tube so it could be anything but it's not 80 but it could be up to 40 that's for sure so You have a bit of trouble getting powder out of that thing. I can always still see brass down in there. That's why I pour in the old powder and uh, drop in my clay ball, ramrod it down. It just falls down. It's kind of, it's kind of, it just loosely fits on top of the powder. We ain't been using no patches or nothing. Sprinkle a little. Powder. This is F2. Sprinkle a little powder in the pan. Close the prism. And then, uh, as it says here, try to hit that target. Oh, didn't do it that time. Shot that thing out and how many times over and over again, never had a miss. You're putting it on camera, and then all of a sudden, like what? It don't go off.
nice if it always goes off. It always. So, anyway, the next trick will be cleaning the dike. powder at all. He dropped him. Big old clay ball got dropped. There we go. Prison turned white. These are wiped a little. These take a little maintenance in between shots sometimes. I wouldn't recommend you smack them clay balls too hard with that ramrod. You might crack them and they come out skin dust instead of a blue ball. I've hit that target a few times. But it's pretty fun. It's a terrible shot. But, uh, I got a cool way of cleaning these things too, so it don't it don't take much to clean them. They're pretty easy to clean, so that makes it fun too. Because you've got hot water and air. You got nice hot water and air. You got it. Made. Man, this dude really ain't even broke in good. So takes a little, I think they need some breaking in time too. Before they get to work. Must have had a phase where it said, ah, the camera. Maybe the camera shut off up there. And 
rolls right out the end of the barrel. Funny. They are loose in there. Not quite six. Six point oh mold. It ain't quite uh, there. I could nap this a little bit. I'd take a piece of copper and probably have coming out of the basement. Bit of a on my leather, I got a bit of a tongue underneath of it there. It might not be helping. More as much flint on this as I can get. the ding, so that did hit that target, so that, that being done, the shell in 